Yo guys, welcome to a new video on the Team Gullit channel. And in this video, I will talk about the top 5 formations you need in the AFC 24. So let's just start. So the first formation you guys need to use is the 5-2-1-2. It is the only 5-back in these 5 formations. So after this one, you don't need to worry about seeing any other 5-back formations. But for me, the 5-2-1-2 is a must to have in your tactics. For the instructions, it isn't that important. The only thing I would recommend is to play it on balanced direct passing as always. And the instruction that is really important for me is to put your cam on stay forward. The other instructions I put are stay back and cover center on my center mids as well. And for the rest, I just leave it. I just leave it as it is. The formation is pretty dynamic from itself. So it doesn't really need much instructions. As I said, the stay forward is really important to be able to go in a quick counter attack because that is one of the strengths of this formation, if you ask me. So as you guys can see in these clips, it all starts with the overlapping <laughs> fullback. In this first case, it's Davies. It's the pass inside to Haaland. And that's where the magic happens. This formation is really good for Tiki Taka. As you can see, you can almost just spam X passes and they will just connect. It is basically the same as a 4-1-2-1-2 in attack because you have the cam, the two center mids, the striker. So you have like the five players in the center combining together and then obviously the overlapping fullbacks, which makes this formation obviously really dangerous in attack. But obviously it is a five back, so in defense you know you're gonna be solid. You just need to keep in mind that you wanna build up to the fullbacks all the time. Then when you get high up the pitch, just as you saw in these two examples, go for the tiki taka, the quick passing. It will connect and it will get you easy chances. The second formation we're gonna talk about is the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. It is pretty the same as the 5-2-1-2 as I mentioned before, only now you get a CDM. Something that is really good in the 4-1-2-1-2 compared to other formations is the build up through the middle. Again, the instructions are not that important. The only thing I would recommend is to put one fullback on stay back and one on balanced. Which fullback you want to put on balance is just personal preference. Me, personally, I always like to attack through the right side. So that's why I always put my right back on balance in this formation. Then it is important though to put all your CMs and CDMs on cover center. You want them to cover the middle. In this formation, you have to accept that defensively, the wings are going to be a bit open. So you should not try to press too much. Just drop back a bit. Try to wait for a chance to get a ball. And obviously the strength of this formation is the build up through the middle and is the counter attack. As you can see in this first clip, it's all about the tiki taka, which I mentioned before in the 5-2-1-2 is even better in this formation because you also have the CDM who can help in the build up. I would just recommend to try and spam these X passes in this formation and they will just connect. And it's obviously very hard to defend, even for me as a pro, when someone is using this against me, it's always hard because the passing in this game is going so quick. It's just very, very tough to switch on that. So that will surely guarantee your goals and chances. And obviously, as mentioned before, the counter-attack in this formation. In the second example, it is the perfect counter-attack. As you can see, because I have stay forward on my camp, a really important instruction in this formation though, I will always have the three players up front. So that means my left striker, right striker and camp will always be available for the counter-attack. In this example you see now, it's just demonstrated perfectly. The ideal counter-attack, one of the biggest strengths in this formation. So now we're jumping into a bit more the balance formations. Formation number three in this list is gonna be the 442. I know a lot of you guys like this formation and I totally agree with that. It is very well balanced. This also means your tactics should be pretty balanced. As you can see for me, it is 40 width in defense, depth is 62. Then in offense, as always, balanced direct passing, 55 width, players in the box, 5. This formation doesn't need much changes and that's just because it's pretty well balanced from itself. The same goes for the instructions. The thing I would recommend is to all your players you can put on comeback on defense, put them on comeback on defense and for the rest, your center mids and fullbacks, just put them on stay back while attacking. Then the biggest strength for me in the 4-4-2 is the two strikers. It is maybe sometimes a bit harder to build up in a 4-4-2, you just need to take it slowly. But once you get there, you will always have the option available between the two strikers. Obviously, me, when I play FIFA, the situation I want to get into 
is the 1v1 with the center back with my strikers. Obviously, the 4 for 2 is ideal for this because you have the two strikers facing off against two center backs of your opponent. And you can always choose whether you want to go for the first time pass to the other striker or you want to run yourself. This formation just makes it difficult for your opponent because sometimes he gets in situations where he needs to decide whether going for the pass or going for the skill move. The other way around for you as well. And you can just change it up. At some point, it will be a mind game. And if you are leading that mind game, the 4 for 2 is perfect for you. Then, second formation is going to be the 4 2 3 1. I would say the best defensive formation out of this list. For me, even better defensively than a 5 back. Especially if you like to play a bit slower, want to play possession, pressure opponent, then this formation suits you perfectly. For the instructions and tactics goes the same as for a 4 4 2. This formation doesn't need much special. The tactics, as you can see, it's just pretty well balanced. Nothing uh, crazy or like high depth, high width. Just keep it as much how it is because this formation will do it from itself. Now I will show the examples why the 4-2-3-1 is as good as this for me. I talked about the defensive quality of this formation and that is just exceptional for me. The structure is so well that for your opponent it will always be hard to get in 1v1 situations. And once he gets there, it's mostly in a tough situation, so you would be able to switch to your center back and just tackle him. That's all because the CDMs will be close. He probably doesn't have many other options apart from or he has to make the pass or he has to make a skill move or a move. And that just gives you the option to decide, okay, now it's the moment to tackle or now he needs to pass. I'm going for the passing lane. That is what's really good in this formation. And I would just say structured is the best formation there is in any FIFA or EAFC edition. It will always be the best structured formation. Then obviously in offense, for me, you should always aim to attack through the wing. Because you have your left attacking mid and left back, you can combine together with the CDM and cam. And obviously in the middle, it's pretty tough because you have the cam who is like isolated a bit together with the CDMs who will not push up too high. So I would always recommend to attack through the wing. This formation is probably a bit harder to build up with, but once you get there, your cam will always get space because most of the times your opponent will play a 4-2-3-1, a 4-4-2, maybe a 4-3-2-1, and then he just has two center mids defending. Or for a 4-2-3-1, he has two CDMs defending. And the cam will always be in the middle there. So it will always be hard for a center mid to cover him because if a center mid or CDM will shift to the cam, he will always leave up space elsewhere. So that's why 4 2 3 one is also pretty tough to defend. Then the last formation, I don't think it is a surprise anymore. The best formation EFC 24 by far is the 4-3-2-1. And again, for the tactics, there's nothing special. Balanced, balanced direct passing. The only thing that's really, really important in this formation compared to other ones are the instructions. I would always recommend to put one fullback on balance. For me, as I said before, it's always my right back. Then something really important to do as well is to you have to put one center mid on cover wing. For example, for me, my left center mid is on cover wing and my right forward, because it needs to be the opposite side. So my right forward is going to be on comeback on defense. This makes the 4-3-2-1 defend in a 4-4-2. Obviously, attacking it is crazy. If you had to defend in a 4-3-2-1, it will be pretty tough. But now you can make a defend in a 4-4-2. It's really solid in defense as well. And that's what makes it the best formation in EAFC 24 for me. Now I will show some examples of how to attack in this formation. So the thing you should always keep in mind when you play the 4-3-2-1 is attacking through your fullbacks. By using your fullbacks, you will always create an overload on your opponent. So then he needs to make a decision and that's most of the times where it goes wrong when it's defending. You will get like a, in 5v4 situations, 6v4 pretty easy in this formation. And we all know once you get overloaded in your box, it's just GG's in this game. And that's why the 4 3 2, one is just by far the best formation this year. I would say try them out. It is obviously important to have a plan A, plan B, plan C, even plan D. So obviously everyone has some personal preferences. Some of you might put 4 for 2 at 1, maybe a 5 to 1 2. I would just recommend to try them all out. Figure it out yourself. What is your number one? And all that's left is that I want to thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up on this video. Comment if you like. And obviously don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.